I'm Savvy Trap. I am six foot eight and a half. Growing up, my height always affected me in one way or another. In one month, I grew almost two inches. I'm believing that it's blind. I don't usually do blind gates. Can I hug you? Yes, okay. of course. I am actually married to my beautiful wife, Danielle. I'm Savvy Trap. Um, I'm 28 years old and I live in Duluth, Minnesota. I am six foot eight and a half. Growing up, my height always affected me in one way or another, just whether it was me growing so fast that my coordination couldn't necessarily keep up. I was kind of like fumbling and awkward. In one month, I grew almost two inches once. The pain in my legs, I've got stretch marks on the back of my legs from that. And at age 12, sixth grade, I was six foot two and wearing size 12 men's shoes. And I just felt like different than everyone. Now I feel a lot better about my height. Our mom, she raised us up really well and just really poured into our hearts and our minds that being tall and being different was something to be proud of and something that was beautiful. For the longest time, like I didn't know that polyamory was a thing. I never had heard of it. It wasn't until I met my lovely wife, Danielle, that she really taught me what polyamory is and that, you know, you can love more than one person and it doesn't take away from anyone or anything. It just builds on the love. I'm going into this blind. I don't usually do blind gates. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. <laughs> Finding clothes that fit right is such a challenge. This is meant to be a long dress. This is meant to go past one's knees. But this, it just barely, you know. And just because I have such long legs, if it's like borderline short, it's gonna look, you know, mildly scandalous just because my legs are so long. My name's Hans, I'm 21. I really like someone who's intelligent. I'm creative myself. They, they don't have to be creative, but I like people who are creative. That come from all different types of backgrounds. I really, really appreciate the Hey. How's it going? Great, how are you doing? Good, can I hug you? Yes, okay. of course, of nice course. To nice you. to meet you. And your name was? I'm Hans. Awesome. They didn't give yeah. me any information. So yeah. I'm Savannah. Me neither. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. you. But yeah, my friends call me Savvy. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from the area or? Yeah, I'm I'm originally from Duluth. No way. Yeah, yeah. But now I live in the I live in the cities like in Miniature. So. I'm I'm laughing because I'm from Duluth. I literally drove from Duluth this morning. No way. Yes. That's okay. crazy. Small world, you just get smaller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have like a cup, like when I'm on a date, like I have, you know, a couple things that, obviously I'm super tall, right? right so yeah. uh, I'm six foot eight and a half, um, probably seven in the booths. Wow, um, <laughs> So like usually tell, before I even meet people, I usually tell them that just to like, limit the shock factor, but you, you handled it with grace and so well. Oh, I yeah. never really, have experienced that like in a first time like meeting with someone so that was just so refreshing and so like oh my gosh like god good. bless you good <laughs> oh i really appreciate that yeah yeah. I mean, yeah we all we all come in shapes and sizes and yeah. i don't judge when it comes to that yeah, no that's so. totally awesome i yeah. really appreciate like a refreshing like non-judgmental perspective do you know yeah. what polyamory is I do know like just a little bit, like just briefly kind of what it's about, but yeah, gotcha. not, not gotcha. Easy, so yeah. I am a polyamorous person, so that mm -hmm. means I have more than one like romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I am actually married to my beautiful wife, Danielle. Um, we've been married for three years and she's polyamorous as well, of course. I also have another long-term partner that I've been seeing for about four years as well you know where we're from up north it's like not a very common thing right so like yeah, i immediately yeah, yeah. like have to say hey like are you okay with this because like a lot of people either 
are misinformed or not informed at all about what it is. And like, oh cool, you get to be with all the people you want. And I'm like, no, that's not quite exactly how it is. Just because I'm married and I have my boyfriend Ryan, that doesn't stop me wanting to, you know, make these new connections with people. And the fact that, of the matter is, is that it really does not force you to define any relationships because they can be whatever they're meant to be, whatever they're meant to evolve into, right? So like if you're friends with this person and then feelings happen, well then you can build on that and you can grow that and you can naturally just let the relationships evolve to where they're supposed to go. Do you have any like immediate like reactions or like surprises like meeting me now or like all of the stuff I just threw you. I did an awful lot of talking and I promise I'm a good listener. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm all for it. I love, I love to listen. Like I love to listen to your background. I think like you probably lived like a really cool life and so I'd love to hear more about that. Yeah, I don't know. So that's just a little bit about what I'm up to. And yeah. so what do you, what do you do? Yeah, so. I go to school at St. Olaf, so oh, it's just right like on. a small liberal arts college, so I'm just in my last year there, so I'm a senior, so okay, right I might graduate in two weeks, so. Oh my gosh, well then what's next? Yeah, well, I do I do music, so mm -hmm. I write music, produce music, and put oh, that really? out there. Yeah, so. That's very cool. Yeah, sure. yeah, I have about like 50 songs out on oh. Spotify and all right the songs. On. That's yeah. super cool. Yeah. Thank you. You know? Yeah. yeah that's oh, awesome. that's nice. Wow. So, we're going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Awesome. Oh, don't sit on a chair too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's going good so far. I feel like he is super open and honest and receptive to everything I'm saying. And he's not, you know, just saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like thinking about what I'm saying. I don't think it could possibly be going any better to be honest with you like we're laughing we're talking about things i don't know i'm just like i'm excited My little brother Adam is the tallest. It's just under seven foot four. Next is me at six eight and a half, and then my dad at six eight, and then my sister, she's just under six six, and then my mom is coming in as the runt at six foot three. Well, this was lovely, and yeah. I would absolutely love to see you again sometime. For and sure. we'll just have to probably exchange some contact info. Yeah, and, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think we went awesome. I think we really connected and have a lot of like similar values and both agree that we would to see each other again. I totally agree, definitely use similar backgrounds, which was really cool to catch up on. I definitely, definitely similar values. We're all different for a reason. If everything was the same, everything would be so incredibly boring. So just celebrate our differences and connect on our similarities and just find a way to meet each other in the middle, you know?